Hi, everybody. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas on Monday, July the 16th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, the much awaited and much speculated uh, Putin Trump uh, meeting came to an end, and we saw a press conference. I frankly was not expecting the press conference to say anything. I mean, I'm sure that there was some very frank language between them in private, and that's the way it should be. But I wasn't expecting anything, anything to happen in the press conference. The reality is that it takes time to, to determine whether or not uh, these meetings will have any kinds of, of consequences. You know, we've had some of these meetings in the past. And in fact, I have a post over at the American Thinker about this. And some of these uh, summits or meetings in the past have turned out to be consequential. Most of them have not. Uh, one of the ones that was very good for the United States was 1986, when President Reagan met uh, with then General Secretary uh, Gorbachev. And at the time that they met, uh, President Reagan knew that the Soviet Union was falling apart economically. So he held the line, he stood his ground, and basically told uh, Gorbachev, look, here are my conditions, if you want to. <laughs> make a deal with me, give me a call, but these are my conditions, and he walked away. He walked away from, from the meeting. And uh, a couple of years later, the Berlin Wall came down, and the Soviet Union eventually came down in 1991. So that turned out good for the West, that turned out good for the United States. Another one that didn't turn out good was in June or Mar May of 1981, excuse me, May of 1961, between President Kennedy and General Secretary uh, Khrushchev. Now, that particular meeting uh, was their first time face-to-face. -face. It came on the heels of the Bay of Pigs fiasco. It came at a time when President Kennedy w w was new on the job and probably not familiar with as much as he was later. And it, the two of them just didn't click. I mean, it was, a, it was a very bad meeting that they had. And Khrushchev basically walked away from the meeting saying, I can push this guy around. I can, you know, I can get him, I can push him around, I can push my weight around without consequences. And he did in Berlin, he did in Laos, and eventually tried to do it in Cuba with the missiles, uh, the missiles in Cuba. Now, by that time, President Kennedy had to respond, and he stood up to, to the Soviets, but, uh, you know, the world came close to a nuclear war because President Kennedy had to be tough. So I think the lesson of these, uh, of these summits, lesson number one is, don't make a lot of conclusions based on a press conference or their very first meeting. There's a lot of detail uh, being discussed and going back and forth. A lot of it is being done by the staff, not by the president. Usually the president's engaged in more general points back and forth, but it's the staffs who are doing a lot of the, a lot of the heavy lifting. So number one, don't expect a lot of things to happen. And number two, I think the most important consequence, or the most important point to remember here, is that when you have a president of the United States who projects strength, and I think Trump does, uh, I think you're more likely to get good results in the long run, as we saw with Reagan, as we saw with Nixon when he met with Brezhnev in 72 and came back to do the SALT Treaty. So if you have a strong president, you're more likely to get something done. If you project weakness, as uh, apparently Kennedy did, with Khrushchev in 61, then it, it doesn't work out as well. It doesn't work out as well. Or when President Obama drew that famous red line and then never enforced it. When you do stuff like that, you're going to put your country in trouble eventually. But when you're tough, when you project toughness, I don't think the, that anything can, can go wrong. So we'll see what happens, but don't make a lot of, out of these press conferences or these events. I, I don't think they mean as much. I think time will tell whether or not this was successful. And uh, we'll have to wait probably a year, maybe, maybe longer, to, uh, to see what, uh, what actually came of this. We have all of these uh, videos at YouTube. We have them on my Twitter, and we have them on my blog. And if today is your birthday, if July 16th is your birthday, have a happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.